49 degrees. Uh, this patchy dense fog is most uh, mostly a problem to the north. Won't rule it out for other folks to get patchy fog through South Jersey and parts of Long Island, but really the dense fog advisory goes north of the city through northwestern New Jersey and extends along 95 into Connecticut. That'll go through the early part of this morning, and then we have a pretty nice day. Some sunshine coming our way, and we brace ourselves for really a couple of chances this week for storms. Uh, first of all, rain to snow on Monday, and then Wednesday, we could have the potential for a more potent winter storm that produces more snow across the area. All the details on that as the morning goes on. Let's get it over to Michelle for the headlines. Hey, get your paws up. Uh, that was, it was a little creepy, but I got that reference. It was cre it's a creeping dog. Uh, temperature today near 60. It sounds like a nice day for a long dog walk. And Prince is ready to go. So many of the dogs are in the festive uh, spirit. Good morning, Max, and in by Mark via Twitter. We've got Sky with a beautiful snowflake coat or sweater, I guess it is. Sweater weather. And Maggie finally uh, ready for a little visit from St. Nick. We'd love to see your pet pics. Uh, plenty of time to enjoy the rest of the weekend first. Then Monday, rain to snow and another major winter storm by Wednesday that could create accumulating snow for parts of the area. So looking at today, things look pretty nice. We'll expect high temperatures near 60 degrees. The rest of the active weather forecast and details on the storms when we come back. This could actually bring some snow to the boroughs and we could see several inches for areas north and west of the city. So looking at the track of the storm system right now, Wednesday looks like it could be uh, significant. Right now, 33 in Andover. That is the coldest number on the map. We do have some 50s out of Long Island. Montauk uh, taking the top temperature with 54 right now. Reduced visibility in some areas, even improving as we speak, though we're up to a mile and a half for Bridgeport. Um, that's actually the area right here, the 95 corridor, where we're looking at the dense fog advisory. It expires at 9 a.m. this morning. We will see sunshine through the afternoon. That's what boosts our temperatures. Tomorrow, cold air is in place. Not quite cold enough to see a lot of snow, but the cold rain should change over to a slushy mix during the day, then a coating, sl uh, slushy, slushy coating, and uh, areas north and west could see grassy uh, surfaces covered from this round. So on the future cast, you'll notice westerly flow through 2 o'clock today. That gives us mild air dry, mild air. Then we get some colder air trying to make its way in late tonight into early tomorrow morning. You'll feel the change. The warmest temperatures of the day will be early on Monday, and we'll see the numbers falling through the afternoon as the cold rain comes down and some snow mixes in. That's where we'll see our temperatures stuck in the 30s by tomorrow night. And then Tuesday, we just get cold air coming in. We'll wait for the next storm well, system. Get your paws up. We have some Santa's helpers, some elves that are a little furry, if you will. In today's edition of Big Dog Sunday, starting with Izzy, right by the Christmas tree. Looks good. Carrie Lynn sending in that one via Twitter. We've got this sweetie pie. Look at Boo. Hey, Carmela. Loyal Eyewitness News viewer. Nice to see you. Sending in your pet pics. We've got Milo sending in by Melissa via Twitter. And finally, rounding out this morning's lineup, all lit up Diesel. <laughs> I don't know how they don't bite the, the, the bulbs and all that stuff, but who knows? I guess when they really want to help Santa, they want to get on the nice list too, right?